Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipstromstudios.co.uk and in today's video we are going to look at sending tracks via Dropbox which if you are a session musician such as I am as well as a mix engineer this is really really handy. The cool thing is is that you can access your Dropbox via the files tab in the browser in Studio One which is, makes things incredibly easy because previously uh, using uh, other DAWs I would have to export the track to let's say my desktop or something like that and then I would have to um, put the, the, the audio file into Dropbox and then off it goes. So there's several steps that you have to take to do that. Well, the good thing about the Files tab in the browser of Studio One, you don't have to do that. It's actually really, really simple. So I have this little track here uh, as, as an example track. And basically I have a Fender Rhodes a drum loop and a synth bass. And the track that I'm interested in dealing with is this Fender Rhodes here, the uh, part that I played in. Uh, these I'm not worried about. This is the one I want to send to my client. So let's have a listen to it and then I'll show you how to send it. Alright, so fairly straightforward. Now, what you need to do is come over here to your browser and you want to go here to the Files tab. You click on that and as you can see I now have complete access to my entire computer. So I have several folders open as you can see. The first place I want to go is C colon which is my hard disk then users and then Johnny that's me so that's my folder there I open that and then I want to go down and I want to find my Dropbox folder there it is now this is the Dropbox folder not on the internet but on my local computer but because Dropbox is connected then what happens is when I put this track in this client folder here is that it goes straight off and it goes to the Dropbox which is on the internet and then my client can pick it up and drag it into their DAW be that Studio One or Pro Tools or whatever so long as it'll take a WAV file it doesn't matter what DAW my client is using so let's do that let's grab this track here and let's take it oopsie and let's drag it to client folder And there it is. And then I can check down at the bottom here and it will tell me uh, that it is uploading. And it will just take a few seconds, 26 seconds, it tells me. And eventually, depending upon the network speed of your internet, it should arrive in the client folder pretty quick. Now, it looks instantaneous here in Studio One but it does take a few seconds. It depends upon your speed. I mean, this is re this is actually going really, really slow, but that's just typical of, of uh, broadband here in Scotland. So it's going to take about 40 seconds. But we're not going to worry about that. As far as we're concerned, it has gone. And my client, uh, as soon as it is uploaded to the virtual Dropbox, can get the track. So that is pretty much how you do it. You just drag and drop which is so beautiful about Studio One. So not only can you bring things in to uh, your session from the outside or from your effects or loops or whatever you want to do, but you can bring tracks in. And I have done this for client work. Uh, oftentimes if I'm playing a track, I will get sent an MP3 file and I just import it from Dropbox just drag it straight into Studio One uh, with the correct tempo 
and then I play my bass part or my Fender Rhodes or my piano or whatever it happens to be. And then I just drag my track back into the same folder and then the client can pick it up. And it is simple as that. So I hope that this short video was helpful. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, and if you want to receive uh, updates when my new videos come out, then please subscribe to the channel. And pretty much, as everybody knows who uses YouTube, uh, you get a notification telling you when a new video is out. And then you can go look at it. You can go watch it. So I hope you find this video and all of my other videos helpful. Please also go and pay a visit to www johnnylipshamstudios.co.uk and you can find a whole host of articles and other videos that I have done and also my my friend and partner in audio crime Johnny Guy from homestudiotrainer.com I have some of his videos on my site as well uh, we work together quite a lot and we have a couple of Facebook groups as well which you can go and check out at um, just do a search for HS T Studio One support and the group should come up and you can just send a request. I'm one of the admins there so if I happen to be about and we've connected then I can add you into the group. So until next time, hope this was helpful. See you on the next video.